Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's questions coming from Sean Jai. They are looking at two different layers, each having objects, and the parallax of one layer is set to 100, and the parallax of the second is set to zero. And this essentially means that if you move your screen, the parallax 100, all the objects are going to move. So if you move your screen 100 pixels to the right, essentially everything will shift over 100 pixels to the left to give it the effect of it moving. The layer with a parallax of zero, things are going to stay exactly where they are. So this is usually done to make a HUD, um, that way it follows your screen around. But you can use it for other things and occasionally you want to line those objects up. And essentially we need to figure out the difference between the two layers. So hopping into our code, we have two different objects. Uh, sprite 2, and I'm going to rename these layer one object and then we have layer zero object so obviously our layer zero object is on layer zero and looking at layer zero down here that has my parallax of 100 percent and my layer one object is on layer one and back over to my layer one and we have my parallax set to zero so first thing I'm going to do is move the screen over and we'll do a start of layout and I'm going to start out with a weight just so you can see what it looks like and then after one second it will shift the screen and then you'll see that only the object on layer zero moves. So position, we're going to scroll over to 500, 500. And run it. And we have them both sitting where they started and 500, 500 happens and this one moves and our other one just stays still. Here is where the problem comes in. I have a mouse object already added to my project here. So that means I can work with my mouse on click. I am going to set the position on left click. I'm going to set the position of my layer one object right on the center of my layer zero object. And that's done with, I forgot I renamed them, uh, just grabbing the layer zero objects X and Y. And this is the way you would normally do it. And if I set this, actually let's gonna disable this whole thing for a second and hop in here. And when I click, you can see it moves to the center. We are just setting this origin directly on top of that origin. And then if we bring this back in you can see they move and I'm gonna set this to the center but it goes to the center based on its own X and Y and it has a zero parallax so it never moved so we need to figure out the difference between the two and that is done by simply knowing your original layer X and Y and your current layer X and Y and then you just set the object to x minus the difference between yours and y minus the difference between yours. So I will walk us through that with some globals just to make it more easily noticeable. And difference of x, I'm going to copy paste that and have a difference of y here. And then in order to find the difference, I need the starting and the current, and then I subtract the two. So I'm going to make some more globals for those. So starting Y, starty, and start X. And one more time for current Y or curry. Incorrects. So on start of layout before this one second, we're going to go ahead and set the initial start Y and start X and start of layout. We're going to set this value. Layer scroll X. We want it of layer zero because that's our one that moves. And we also want our Y. 
We want these to be the start ones. Start Y, star X, and we'll set this one to the Y of layer zero. And we want those before the one second. And then afterwards, after that one second mark, we can go ahead and hit the currents. So current X and current Y. And then once we have those two values, we can go ahead and set our third, which will be our difference x. And it'll be start x minus corrects. And I'm just going to copy paste that. And if y, oops, and that'll be starting y minus current y. So now we have all of the different pieces we need. Oh. Set the value of the current before I actually scrolled. And then here I just added in an extra 0.1 second wait just to make sure it scrolls over all the way, which I don't think it needs. But now we can see we have current value, which is 500, 500. I set that so we knew it and then the starting value. And then if I right click, it's gonna give me the difference of those. And how we actually can find these ourselves, if that's something you care about, if you go on to your project up top here, mine's just name, new project, yours will be whatever your name is, and go to your viewport size, you're gonna automatically start out right in the center here. And that means if you take this, number here and divided by two so you're looking at 434 that's going to be your starting x position and then this one divided by two so 240 will be your starting y position so then we set those to 500 500 and essentially that just means we are changing this one by when i say 434 so 166 and then this one by uh, 260 and I do believe that is what it came up with. So, boop, 66 and 260. So that's how you would do it manually. Uh, our code has it here for us. And now in order to set this correctly, we just add in this diff X and diff Y to the set position. So when we set the position, we want to add diff X and add diff y. We let it move over. I right click to get that difference and then I set it. So essentially on left button click we would want to grab those right away. So now we're gonna have everything happen on our click. We're gonna grab our current x and y position and find the difference right away and then we'll put that difference in. That means no matter where that red object is we will go to its center so I can grab it before it moves once it moves I can grab it again and yeah so that's one way to solve the problem I'm sure there's plenty of other ones uh, let me know in the comments if you have anything better otherwise peace out